Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host Leandro Mada and in this video we're gonna see how we can configure the ATB320 or any of the other ATBs that we have to work over Modbus TCP to connect to our devices. So let's go to the software. So this is the SOMOOP and I'm going to try to connect to the drive that I have. So in my case, the drive that I have, okay, CMD, the final round is the IP address 102.33. Okay, this is the IP address. So let me just connect with this device, edit connection. Okay, here I'm going to specify the number 33. Scan network. Yep, I have already seen the device, so I'm going to connect with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in the case of the ATB320, it requires um, a car in order to connect. So if we go over here in the device, you should be able to see this car. This is the car that I have connected in the uh, in the bottom of the ATB220 on this one, the book one if you uh, you don't see me here in the book okay, this is the book and you have the early connection of this model over here if you are going to use this one the book, the, the compact okay, you will require a special uh, adapter in order to use this one, okay but once you have this model okay you will need to change the ip address um one way to do it is in front of the drive okay but if you have the the modbus cable to connect to the drive probably is much easier and faster so once you have defined the ip address to connect with the drive okay we have the parameter list here in the modbus tcp let's <laughs> control it Okay, here you have the network settings. So here you can see the same IP address that you have already configured. Okay, you can see over here. And it, this is something important. If you're going to use the ACP, use the ACP that's going to affect also in the configuration that we have for the PLC. In my case, I use fixed IP address. Then the other important thing is the input output scanner, which are the register that you can use so the the client okay can read this information okay so in my case for example if i want to add something else we just need to disable this and then go over here and add what we want to show okay simple as that in that way you add more information to the channel the same is for writing in case you want to modify something in the drive you just need to add more information over here by default it doesn't come with this one it came with the 8602 if final wrong but instead of receiving the the frequency it receives the velocity in rpm so that is something that we need to change and the same is for the second parameters over here instead of sending back which is the actual frequency it sends the the actual velocity in rpm so that is something that we need to change then that is for the configuration of the of the channel for the io scanner then if you have this module this communication module the only thing that we have is this that you have the possibility to select external ap or mobile tcp in my case i'm going to use mobile tcp now this one is only related to the configuration for the Ethernet port, okay, and how the device can access to, to exchange data. Now, on the drive, we need to define where the set point and the control came from. And by default, you have the frequency coming from the analog input of the drive and the control by the terminal blocks that you have in the drive. So what we need to change is that that coming everything for communication if you want that the drive came from the communication part so 
what we need to do is to go to mm -hmm, if I'm wrong it should be full here what we need to change is the ba -ba -ba -da -da. should be in control da -da 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 -da. let me just check here in commands okay in commands here what you need to do is to change you can see here by default is the analog input and I want to be the communication car okay you can see all the things that you can change and I have selected this the communication model which is the one that I add in the bot in the bottom part of the drive in order to communicate then what we need to do is to select this combined channel and in my case I use the external communication model which is which is again the same as this one but we have different names or a short names but it's the same it came from communication so once you have all this already configured okay you should be able to connect to the poc in order to exchange information it's just to show you this one is the drive okay so i'm going to disconnect from here this is the application i have made so we should be able to connect from here to the plc and read some information from the drive that i have already configured so let's wait for this to connect so this is the application that i have already made now here we should be able to connect with the drive mm -hmm. let's see what is the ip address okay Good. Going to online reset one the PLC. Okay, it's done. Then the PLC is scanning the drive. Okay, and if I show you, let me just change this to this view you can see there that we have a fault over there in the drive so this drive is controlled by da, 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 by this function block over here and i want to show you is this which is the information that i'm receiving okay this information the eta everything is here so by default we have these two they came from from what we have already configured over here okay and then these are the ones that you can add to see over here from here to here and from here to here and you can see here is the uh the power supply of the drive so let me just change this to horizontal okay let me just change the status of the drive so you can see that is doing something so i'm going to you can see it's in fall it changed that so if i reset this fold it should be doing something okay let's change send a different command over here then if i know wrong this in ready so i can set a velocity over here and then you should be able to run the drive over here for this function blocks okay the actual velocity the command 15 so this is how you can make the initial configurations for the drive in order to change something okay so if you want to access for example to the parameters inside the to try using the bad display you can do it but probably it's going to take more time so let me just show you and uh, da, 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 da. so the first thing that we need is to uh, stop everything so i'm going to stop over here good so let me just show you how you can access over here so we have this reference monitor configuration okay 
tell if we go to full we should be able to change communication cvd so let's just go back a few cvd is the one that you need in order to put the ethernet card that you added This one, IP mode, is related to the fixed boot or DHCP, and I have selected this manual for the manual fix. Go back. IPC configuration. Okay, here you can find the different parts of the uh, configuration. If I go to the number four, should be the number thirty-three. Okay. 6, 8. this one should be one the first one should be one and two so this is how you can change here is the mask 255 255 255 and zero so this is how you can change the ip address of the module that you have in the back part in the bottom part so once you change that okay the other thing that we need to do is to go back to the uh control fr1 which is the set point where it came from this one is the network okay and then what we need to do here is to change from scene to sap in order to enable this one uh, da, 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 da. just to check CD1 net one okay the network otherwise you shouldn't see that then go back to CHCF and select SIM press then go back As you can see here we don't we are not able to see that option anymore so because it's Spanish that's why you need to change from from scene to sep change that the cd1 which is the control and they go back to scene okay so this is how you can this is how we can change the configuration the drive the initial configuration in order to connect to the m262 of course it's much better to connect using the small or the embedded dtm that you have in machine expert in order to change and make the communication much easier and faster so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one